I study humpback whales in Prince <laughs> William Sound. Um, our humpback whales come from Mexico and Hawaii, and they arrive in the Sound in the springtime. And uh, I work for a little nonprofit called Eye of the Whale. We have a tent camp in Night Island Passage. Prince William Sound is a tarnished gem. First, the Exxon Valdez oil spill, and now rising water temperatures. I work with Olga Vonsegazer, Ogie Bedogi. She's been in the Sound for 30 years studying these whales. In fact, our children grew up in Prince William Sound. And like the humpback calves, they learned a lot of stuff from their parents. They learned to read, they learned to write, and they learned to count by filling out data sheets, timeline, track line, data. <laughs> We've learned that whales have sustained relationships throughout their lives. This is stellar, having a little bit of a play with quinoa, her calf, this spring. And when we enter our whale camp there in the passage, we enter a magical world. There are eagles' nests. Every year there's a new chick. There are little red Bolivian hummingbirds playing at our tent flaps. And of course, there are killer whales flying the passages. I came to this from a life of sled dogs and horses. It was Olga's kids' idea, Lars and Ellie. They thought that my daughter, Kai, and I would be a lot of fun to hang out with in the sound. And so it began, our lives moving together with the tides. There have been some storms, believe me, divorce, injuries, flood, famine. But <laughs> <laughs> every year we go back out there and learning about this wilderness year after year and its nuances is what sustain us. Luckily, there are some differences. Um, all our children are in college now, but Gullivera's calf showed up this year, first one she's had in 20 years. Better her than me. <laughs> <laughs> Our camp is in a whale, um, it's kind of like a runway. Whales go shooting by there day and night. And most of our funding comes from really wet, um, cold kayakers who crawl up on shore because we have a fire going. But we're not just there to um, peruse the wilderness. We gotta find whales. Their lives are as puzzling as our own. They crawled from the sea millions of years ago and then a change in the heart took place and they moved back. Now we know that they're, through DNA evidence that their closest living land relative is a hippopotamus. There used to be 120,000 humpback whales plying the world's oceans. Now there are only 30,000. Each spring, um, whales begin to move into the area and we love to see their flukes rise. We take pictures of their flukes and we study the patterns and identify them for other scientists and mariners. <laughs> and we watch as the old girls show up, lunge feeding, going after the herring that will sustain them, cooperating together. And we're always thrilled when the old ladies arrive in pairs, swimming as they have for years and years and years. Scientists call this associations but Olga just says it's lifelong friendships like ours. <laughs> 